Ugh. Not liking those headphones. Hello, my name is Trey Wickles. Welcome to Out Change. Today we're going to be talking about a shoplifter. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about a shoplifter. And it's very interesting. So let me set the scene for you guys. So there's this woman, the cops get called, and they show up. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> like and subscribe if you want to. Okay? Please do. Okay? If not, you know, we, we, we move forward in this life. Oh, beauty. Excuse me, ma'am. Come back inside the store for me. Bring your cart. Bring, bring your cart. Come back inside the store. I don't want to embarrass you in the parking lot. You're bring, not going to embarrass Bring your cart. Come back inside the store, please. Okay. Thank you. Bring your cart inside the store, please. I'm coming inside the store. For now. A I am coming out. All right, so as you can see, this is an officer who works at the Walmart. So she gets caught as he's coming in. I mean, as she goes out, he saw her on the camera ripping off the tags, which is why you're going to see later that he had his own office, which confused me at first because I didn't see this part. I didn't see that first part. I just saw this part happening. And so it's very interesting. So let's go ahead and move it forward. These do not belong to you. This does not belong to you. Oh, why she put this inside the purse? Please I'm don't not, grab any of I'm the stolen merchandise. But Please my, but don't grab wallet. anything out of the purse, okay? okay? Go ahead. You got that? Thank you. I can go into my wallet. Uh, no, to you. be fair, guys, it looks like this isn't a real person sitting back here. Uh, but it is. He's just not moving. Cannot. Not right what now. Mean? Because I've stopped you for a lawful reason. No, you cannot go into your wallet. I don't know what's inside your wallet. Please step over here, okay? Okay, that's it. Miss Daisy, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk her down to the can office and then we'll can come. You, can, you, can you just tell her to put walk my, this way for me, please? Can you put my money back no, on my card? Hold this for me. Can you walk put, this my, way for can me, please. put my money back on my walk card? This way. My You'll get this in a second. Walk this way. I, I will tell you. All this is staying here. Let's walk this way. Ma'am, leave everything in the car and walk this way. $300 for all my stuff. That's fine. Walk this way. So, this is the most confusing part of this whole thing that happens, right? So, what ends up happening is what she did is she ended up stealing a purse. That's it. She stole the purse and she stole some women's underwear. She stole that, but apparently paid for everything else. So what happened is she bought groceries with her EBT card. And then the stuff that couldn't be bought with the EBT card, she just flat out stole. And so that's why you're going to keep hearing her say, I paid for the rest of this. Okay, give me a refund. She paid for the food off the EBT. She did not pay for the purse, nor did she pay for the women's underwear. So let's continue forward into the office. That's correct. And I pay for everything else. I'm about to buy my okay, pants. that's fine. So they're gonna okay, go through so the car. Okay, so you want me to pay for the pennies, swipe my <laughs> car. I know. I said oh, put it behind my pants. Go ahead and I'm go ahead out. and just refund me my money back, and I'll go somewhere else. It's okay. simple. It's common sense. That's why usually people come in and they pay for the stuff and I they get to leave. I pay for my stuff, sir. Don't 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 come at me like that because I'm not a fucking thief. I don't have a record being a thief. Okay, but you got caught stealing today, right? I got caught stealing today. Okay, if that justifies your situation, cool. No, it justifies so your situation, ma'am. No, it doesn't work that way. What doesn't work that way? You don't just get to leave. Why do I not get to leave? Because so this, you've been this is one thing that I find very interesting. So, this is what happens when somebody tries to shoplift, like in this individual. They don't, they, they, what they do is. They buy a bunch of stuff, get the record of stuff, and then they steal something that costs less than what they actually did, right? Something that they probably either maybe could have afforded or not afforded, whatever, right? And that's how they try to justify these things. When I used to, and don't judge me, I never used to steal personally, but I did have, I know, I knew some people who stole, and that's how they would steal. They would buy regular stuff, and then they would steal uh, stuff in a backpack all the time. Um, one time they tried to actually get me to do it, and I'm not no thief, okay? I ain't stealing, okay? I know that the second I do that, it's over for me, okay? And I have to go back home, and I'm going to look stupid. My parents are going to ask me why I stole. So I never got in with that gang, but I have seen it in person. That's how they do you. They take all this stuff. They pay for a lot of stuff that they can't afford, right? Maybe EBT, food, stuff like that they can, they can get from government assistance, and then they'll still like, a hundred dollar toothbrush. That's what I would see. They steal a hundred dollar toothbrush. They steal a, something very small. She stole a purse by taking off the tag so the thing wouldn't beep. Um, fortunately, they had security. Not all Walmarts do have it that well, but I see that. Uh, I saw that a lot. 
It's just interesting. And then people think they can just get away because like, I bought everything else. Or they'll be like, oh, I just forgot. Being stopped. Okay. Let's move forward here. Sir, get so, off me now. I'm not going to show this part too much, but let me just show you what happens. Okay. So what ends up happening is he tells her to sit down. Well, actually, I'll show the part where he keeps telling her to sit down. And that's what leads to her. Actually, it happened right after what I was just about to skip. I'll get something on you. Because what I want to do is don't to leave. And he continues to fight her. And that's why we end up here. Me, ma'am, because I, I didn't told do you I didn't do to stop to and have a seat. Okay, I am going to have a seat. Why are you being aggressive? You to the ground. Because you're stop, hurting my I'm going to take you to the ground. Sir, first of all, sir, I'm going to light some medical Stop, assistance. I'm going to take you to the ground. My pinky that's already I'm telling you right now, if you do not. So she would not stop at this point, and that's why we eventually end up on the ground. And so we'll go past that part, and we'll get to about right here where another officer comes in. So I'm telling you right now, you can sit there and you can pose if you want to. Call your granddaughter or whoever you want, because I guarantee you I ain't going to lose. Can you give me my stuff? Shh. No, I'm mad. I don't want to shop here no more. And I will speak to corporate. What you don't worry about it. That's, that's our teeth. Oh, that was it? Alright, it's a resident. No one's here. Do you mind giving her a call back? Like a bridge? Yeah. A bridge or something? Yeah, oh. pretty much. Okay. So I like the nails. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Some of these I'm officers crack me up when they try to create a conversation like that, try to keep it calm, keep it normal, but we know this woman's going to jail. Go. Go. She got what she wanted, they got what they wanted, all they wanted was their pennies. Have your bag. You want me to pay me? That was speak a lot of my ears. Let me go. I want to say something that a lot of people run into when they come to all this. Okay, cameraman, can you put the camera on me, please? People didn't come to see that. They can't even see me. Let me tell you something. What I see a lot happening in a lot of these cop videos, and we will continue to watch these because I think they're actually great. Okay, as you can see, nothing has been done. And pretty much the interaction from this point forward, we'll see just a little bit more. But from this point forward, it's all could have been avoided. She could have probably avoided going to jail. Just got that ticket because it wasn't the purse wasn't that much money. But the problem was, is that she resisted arrest. That's what I see a lot of these people go to jail for. They would be just fine if they don't resist arrest. Guys. And I know I understand that some people may be drunk. Some people may be on some drugs. But what I can say is that a good, sure, fire way to make sure you end up in jail, even if it's just something worthy of a ticket, because I've seen people get pulled over for no insurance and stuff like that. But what ends up happening is they fight the cops so much to where the cop is like, okay, well, I'm going to detain you. And the second they go to detain, the person fights. And as soon as that happens, almost every time I have seen they go to jail. Listen, I understand cops can be frustrating. I can understand that kind of stuff happens when you get mad, you're embarrassed, you're humiliated for stealing a purse. It's just that kind of stuff happens. But I'm telling you, do not resist arrest, okay? If Even if you feel like the arrest is wrong, please just wait, take it to court or take it wherever you need to. Because what you're all, all you're going to end up doing is getting yourself slammed into the ground and then going to jail. You could avoid all that. Just be like, all right, cool. Just give me the ticket. You know, just go on about your day. I'm just saying, man, I just see a lot of people do that. They get angry. Obviously, that's what makes for entertainment, too. If this video was just, come on, Ty, can you work with me, baby? Uh, obviously, what can happen is um, and if this was a normal interaction, most people wouldn't care. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. If she just said, oh, I saw the purse. OK. And sat there and didn't say nothing, didn't say goodbye. Hello. Just took her, took her punishment and went on about her day. We wouldn't be watching this video. These are supposed to be lessons to tell us what not to do. Okay. Let's watch a little bit more. Very interesting stuff. 22. 22. I'm calculating the 40. Does she have family out there? Yeah. Uh, do you want the guy and the ladies you you're with to take, take your stuff? Wallet. What do you mean? Take your wallet. They're going to take your wallet. Do you want your family to take your wallet? For what? Because you've been arrested, man. Because you're being arrested. Being arrested for what? You're Here going go. to jail. Yeah. Why am I going to jail? It's an easy question. Do you want your family to take your personal property? Or I would you rather... That, that I don't like. That I really don't like. Um, here's something I, I don't like when the cops do this. When a person asks, why am I going to jail? Okay, and I'm not saying all cops do this. This in particular situation. If somebody asks, why am I going to jail? I think you should be able to just go, oh, you're going to jail because of this. Um, if you don't know... 
Just be like, um, this officer is going to tell you. But what I think is this cop doesn't actually know why she's going to jail. That's just my opinion. Um, but when he said this, just a simple question, just answer yes or no. It's just like, bro, can I at least know why I'm going to jail? I don't have no problem with her saying, why am I going to jail? Can you at least help me on that, brother? Come on now. I don't understand why cops do that kind of stuff. And I've seen this in a lot of videos. When a cop has no idea what's going on, they just showed up to the situation, and the person's like, well, what's happening? What's going on? And the cop just gets, like, rude. I understand that, you you know, somebody's yelling in your face. I get that. <laughs> Some people are rude. But sometimes I see these people ask these cops, hey, uh, what did I do wrong? Can you at least let me know that? I saw one instance, okay? We're going to watch this eventually. So keep this in mind. I saw an instance where somebody got their car towed. And the guy was asking, why is my car getting towed? And the cop refused to answer this individual. Just flat out ignored him. I mean, I would be frustrated too. Be like, can you at least let me know? But the cop just ignored him. Because sometimes these cops treat people like, you should know what you did. Or I don't have to tell you. It's like, can I? I mean, that just makes no sense to me. You don't have to make the person feel stupid. That, man, I could go on a whole rant about that. There is just something that gets under my skin. When somebody goes out of their way, and it ha I, it's one of my pet peeves, but when somebody goes out of their way to make somebody feel stupid for something they don't know, I don't like when people do that to somebody. Because it's like you're doing this whole power trip or you're doing this whole thing for nothing when a person's asking a simple question and you're being like, well, I'm going to make this person feel stupid instead. Just like, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'd rather put it in the bag and have it taken to county. So what do you want us to do? I'm telling you what am I going to jail for. See? I mean, See? Arrested for that right there? That right there, that right there, he makes her. Oh my gosh! Your personal property. I'm Would not you? on the woman's side, by the way, but I, 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 we're talking about human interaction. That's what these videos are really about. Just interaction between two human beings. Or would you rather put it in the bag and have it taken to county? So what do you want us to do? I'm telling you, what am I going to jail for? That right there is like, man, this girl is stupid. Man, why do, why did you do that? I understand she stole. I'm not defending her for stealing. I am defending somebody. You making her feel stupid because she has no idea why she's going to jail. I don't understand why you acting like she's asking a hard question. Now she did resist arrest, but he didn't. Res she didn't resist arrest with him. He showed up after that part. So I don't know why he's so frustrated with her. She's just asking, "Why am I going to jail?" I think cops should at least answer that for you. Don't make people feel dumb. And we've been arrested for shoplifting and resisting. I think she's going to jail because she resisted. If she had not resisted, I don't think he would have sent her to jail. He probably would have hit her with a ticket and banned her for trespass trespassing. But the fact that she stole, okay, because then, I mean, technically, oh, well, technically she didn't steal because she never left the store because he caught her outside in the parking lot. But nonetheless, I think she really got arrested when she, re oh, she really got arrested because she resisted arrest. I think he was probably going to let her go, but she pushed it. You need to delete that. I do not resist arrest. I will never resist arrest. That's poor on the street, man. I do not resist. I do not resist arrest. What are you talking about? You need to delete that. No, I saw. He actually had a clear back. Appreciate you. Need, you need to delete that. You need. You can give me my. You can give you want? my. You can give me my family yes. my stuff because that's a fucking lie. And I need to get my stuff. I'm a fucking person. And this one, by the way, I watch. I follow like six or seven cop cam videos. This channel in particular. Um, let me get their name, actually. Uh, Body Cam Watch. They're the only ones that I know allows cussing. Most of them don't um, because YouTube is so particular. But some people don't care. Some people just want to show you the footage. They don't care about the monetization. Some people just show you. I don't want that on my record. Okay. Well, let's go one step at a time, all right? He's going to fuck up my whole career. Let's go one step at a time. So she has to go to work tomorrow. And the reason she doesn't end up going to work, obviously, is because she got arrested. Um, <laughs> I actually feel bad for her on this. But at the same time, it's like, woman, why would you steal a purse? And I know she feels humiliated. I know she feels humiliated. Um, some people who steal, sometimes they get peer pressure. Sometimes they're just really broke. But and sometimes people are kleptomaniacs. Some people just steal just to steal. Um, when I was like 13 or 14, I used to steal just to steal. Um, it wasn't until I turned 16 years old uh, that somebody told me, actually, you know what it was? 
There was an episode of Everybody Hates Chris. And Terry Crews, the dad in the show, says to uh, Chris at one point, he goes, Chris, why would you ever steal from somebody? People work hard for what they got. After I heard that line, I'm telling you, I heard that when I was 16 years old. I have never stole since that day because that's what I think about in my head. I'm like, people really work hard for what they do. So I don't steal from people, man. If I'm broke booty out, I'd rather just beg and people tell me low and I'll just look stupid uh, before I go stealing from people. Because because if I steal somebody's money and they can't pay rent and that was their, like their last shot on rent or something and they get evicted um, when they finally were starting to get their life together, I'm a part of that. I contributed to it. It's not like they did anything wrong. They may have messed up getting to that point, but nobody could have guessed that their money was going to get stolen for somebody like me so I could go buy a chain. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm done with it. I would never come here again. Thank you. Can, you Can I get up and speak to my brother? No, ma'am, not right now. Then tell my brother to come here. What do you mean? He has every right to see what the fuck is going on. No, ma'am, he does not. Yes, he does. No, ma'am. Because he's my authority. I don't think she's on drugs, and I don't think she's drunk. He's your what? He's, he's my authority. He's whatever I need him to be. What's up? Because that doesn't matter. He's she may, she may be a little high, but I don't think she's drunk. He's older than me. People he who knows. are drunk, they really slow their words really bad. He's your, I don't trust he's your to be here with y'all. I got a video. I know I'm talking a lot, but I have another video for y'all, but I, I, I got to contemplate if I want to show it. I mean, obviously, it can be shown on YouTube because I watched it on YouTube. But it is a wild video. Y'all not listening. And then he said resisting arrest. How the fuck can I resist arrest? You trying to make me a criminal because I'm a black woman, bro. I'm telling you if I was white. And here leads to my point that I hate hearing too. You would have let that hoe go. Hmm? Let me go. Let me See, everybody always uses whatever they are to say that. If she was a woman and she was white, you know what she would have said? If I was a man, you'd let me go. If it's a white guy and a black guy at the red she'd be like, oh, if I was a brother, you let me go. If it's a black man, he, you know, he'd be like, well, come on, brother. We're supposed to be on the same side. Why are you doing this to me? Everybody finds a reason to be oppressed. Everybody finds a reason to not be arrested. He would have... I can't tell you how many cop videos I have watched of people who were not black, okay? I'm showing this video of a black woman today. The last time I showed a video, it was of a Hispanic woman, right? The next video I'll show is will be of a guy. I'll show you videos of a white man. I'll show you videos of a black man. I'll show you videos of a Hispanic guy. I saw a Hispanic guy who was spitting all over the cops. It doesn't matter about your color all the time. Am I going to say it never matters? No, because I made that video a while back about the Mississippi guys, but those guys were evil, Okay, those were evil men, okay, that were doing far worse than just arresting somebody on shoplifting, okay? Do I think race plays a role sometimes? Yes, but I think it plays a role in every race. I think somebody might get arrested just because they're white. And a black cop may just not like them, or a Hispanic cop may just not like them because they're white. But in this particular case, you were stealing. It's not like you did something that didn't make that happen. And then when he tried to tell you to sit down, you said no. You tried to leave. And so when he put you in handcuffs and you started to resist the rest, and then he had to put you on the ground and arrest you, and that's why we're here now. It's like all of these actions led up to this. If y'all remember, and I don't think I showed this video yet, and I made sure it, I made sure it, and I'm sorry, guys, when I freaking swallow. I hate that um, sound, but I can't help it. I mean, I'm talking a lot. Um, I normally pour that in my cup, but oh, whatever. I saw a video of a woman who was drunk at school, right? White woman, drunk, elderly white woman, drunk. That cop treated her just like this woman is getting treated now. Because she was drunk around children, it escalated everything. And then she lied. And then it got worse and worse and worse. What was she going to say? Oh, if I had been black, you'd have treated me better. It's just like, guys, come up, quit coming up with excuses. Your actions is what you got you here, lady. Not because you're black. He would not let you go if you were white. If that's uh, white, and that's why I want to show you guys. That's why I want to show all these different races. Because it's like people think that black people act so much worse than white people. Like a white person in this particular situation would have acted so much better. It really depends on the person. It really does. Now, do I think the culture influences the way some black people act as far as our music and stuff? Yes. In a certain areas, yes. 
But in this particular situation, no. Ah, uh, man, it's just, it's just wild. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to kind of remember these cop videos. I really don't care about the person being arrested. I don't care about the cops that much. I'm making these videos to show you what to do, what not to do. And I love talking about human interaction. I love it because I love how people can do great. People can fail. People get themselves in situations. So this is myself because I've been, I've ran into the cops before and it's, I've never been mean or anything. I've never resisted arrest or anything like that. But I just like, I just like how I've been treated before. I remember one time I was walking down the road and I was actually listening to a Christian song and I was doing this like this. I was doing this to God. I did this and I got arrested. I almost got arrested for uh, throwing up gang signs. I did this and people thought I was doing like this. It's just like, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I just love talking about human interaction. I have plenty of experience when it comes to talking to people, good and bad. I've talked to thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people face to face, personally, all that kind of stuff. Um, just like those people who do street interviews, I do those same things, except for I don't make it public. I talk to stuff. I talk to people and ask tons of questions, but I never make it public because I don't care to. Um, but that's somebody else. That's, if that's your lane, you want to talk to people and do street interviews, that's fine. I think those videos have value. Me personally, when I do a street interview or I talk to people about stuff, you'll never see it. I bring it to y'all here because I do more of a show. I don't like putting people on camera like that. Um, because people get bullied and people that I don't like doing that. That's just me personally, though. That's why I don't do street interviews and I, I'll never interview. I did that one time on my channel. I think I know two times on my channel. I interview people and that was different because it was in this kind of setting. But somebody on the street where they're not ready for it. I don't like to put people out like that because it's easy to look stupid in the middle of a street interview, especially when I'm already prepared to ask the question and you're not, you know, so that's just me. Anyway, I make these videos for human interaction. I hope you're enjoying them. I'm going to try to get better. I have to get used to this um, explaining cop videos because I don't want to take a whole video and show you the whole thing. But bear with me. I'm going.